guys, my name is Jamie. Welcome to Border Bananas. You guys have been asking me for my snack recipes, so you've got it. Today I am going to make banana muffins. Um, and this is just a recipe that I got off allrecipes.com that you guys have been asking me about. I will put the recipe link down below for you guys. Um, I have already recorded my green smoothie recipe as well as my trail mix recipe, and I will also link those down below. Um, but today, like I said, we're going to make some banana muffins. This recipe is so easy. My kids help me with it all the time, and they've made them by themselves as well. And it even says right on the front, these delicious banana muffins are easy for kids to make. <laughs> True story. <laughs> um, so we're going to get started. I am going to be making a double batch today, but I am going to be giving you the ingredients for a single batch. Just to make things complicated, right? Okay, so you will need... One and a half cups of all-purpose flour, as well as a teaspoon each of baking powder and baking soda, um, a half a teaspoon of salt, three large ripe bananas, um, and you'll want to mash those up. Uh, three quarters of a cup of some just plain old white sugar, an egg, and a third cup of butter melted. So I'm going to just start it right off by melting up my butter. Because what we're going to end up doing is mixing it with our bananas that we have mashed. Before we go any further, I'm going to throw my hair out. Did you guys see that? I keep one of these little clips on my jeans at all times, almost. Unless I already have my hair up. And I'll wash my hands. it's just me you guys or what but I have been shedding like crazy every fall I shed and I get these crazy baby hairs and I see them in all my videos and they stick straight up right here <laughs> all right let's see not done yet not even close okay so for banana mashing um, I don't use a potato masher I use this I don't have the room in my I only have a very little drawer space so I just use my um, pastry cutter this is for cutting in pastries I also use it for like mashing up strawberries for like strawberry shortcake or strawberry syrups and stuff works great so I'm going to get mashing these bananas Also, I don't use cupcake liners most of the time, um, especially just for muffins or whatever. I usually just wrap them up in some, once they've completely cooled, I wrap them up in a uh, some saran wrap. And so I just throw them in the kids' lunch boxes. Um, and it's just easier. And then you don't have to remember to buy cupcake liners all the time. And it's better for the trees too, right? Okay, so I'm gonna throw these away. Mash up my bananas. And I didn't get out my cupcake tins. I should probably do that. You'll want to grease your cupcake tins if uh, you don't ha use cupcake liners. Super easy.
Butter's all nice and melted. Now I'm just gonna add my butter in with my bananas that I've already just mashed up. I need a three quarter cup of sugar. Actually, I need one and a half cup of sugar. I'm doubling it. So you guys will need three quarters of a cup of sugar. And the egg. We're all into the banana mixture for the mashed bananas. And we're going to give that a stir. Now in for the dry ingredients. One and a half cups of flour. You're gonna see me put three in, because so like I said, I'm doubling. You'll need a teaspoon each of the baking powder and the baking soda. And half a teaspoon of salt. I keep my salt in this little dish here. And then you want to sift that all together. I don't own a sifter, um, so I'm just going to whisk it all together. Um, I find that a lot of these tools that are in the kitchen you don't really need. Um, if it's really important that I sift it, I will put a strainer above a large bowl and then I will sift it through with my <laughs> with my whisk um, and it works out great. Um, the more tools you have the less space you get to keep in your home, right? So, okay and while I'm here I am going to just give my uh, cupcake pans a quick spray. And now we're just going to fold in the banana mixture into our dry ingredient mixture. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. I don't like banana flavored things. Um, for example, like banana flavored candy or um, banana scented anything really. But if it's real bananas, like banana bread or banana muffins, oh, it's so good. It smells delicious. What is it? You can't mimic real bananas, I don't think. Oh, like that. Mmm, that's the way it's supposed to look. Okay. So, now I am going to grab my cookie scoop. I like to make my muffins kind of small to begin with, and, and then if um, I need more, I can add more. But I just put in a cookie scoop in each one, and then go back and add a little bit if I need to. <clears throat> Besides, the smaller you make them, the more you get, right? <laughs> I'm just, I've got them all filled up, now I'm just adding little by little to each one, so they each are kind of relatively the same size.
can hear my dog grumbling. Such an old man. Aren't you, boy? I can't believe he's not over here begging right now. He usually does. All right, I'm just gonna grab a spoon. I usually don't cook on my island very often unless I'm cooking something big. Um, I usually cook over there in the corner. Now I'm just gonna pop these in my oven for 25 to 30 minutes until they're golden brown and delicious. And my oven is spent, you guys. It's zone cleaning. I'm zone cleaning in the kitchen this week. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let that cook and I will get back to you. Okay guys, so I just pulled them out of the oven and they look delicious. Ooh, yum. And they are still piping hot, so I'm going to be very careful, and I'm going to pop them out of here with just a spoon. If I can, let's see if I can. Uh, there we go. There. So you can see how I can do this here. If they, sometimes they lift up pretty easy, sometimes they don't, and I just kind of roll them. There we go. Oh, do you see that? Yum! Oh, let's see. I'll open up this jinky one. <laughs> Woo, it's hot. So yummy. delicious. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.